Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be the sixth update for my whole collection of Project Pan. This project was created by Becky Loves Kanga and she is always linked in my description box. As it is the midway point through the year, I am going to be doing a refresh for my project and I'm going to be doing a pretty significant refresh actually. I'm just really itching to spice things up, re-motivate myself to meet a ton of goals before the end of the year. So that is what I plan on doing today before hopping into it. If you're looking at me and saying, Emily, what's going on? I have two videos I need to film today. This one, as well as a palette bingo with the Glam Light Ice Cream Dream palette. So stay tuned for that. However, it's summer break. I have just a very brief window of time where I can film right now. And then I have to do my grocery shopping and palette bingos cause me a lot of anxiety. I don't know if the look is going to turn out, if I'm going to look crazy, if I'm going to sit here for 20 minutes staring at the swatches on my hand before I figure something out because I'm not that creative when it comes to color pairings. So I decided let's sit down, film my update with no eye makeup on. I have like literally nothing on my eyes, uh, no mascara, no primer, nothing. <laughs> But I do have my face makeup done and my brows. And then later, after the grocery shopping, after my husband gets home, I will come downstairs and film my palette bingo when I can wash it off. Domino's here helping us again. So that's enough rambling. Um, I am going to be doing a quite a big refresh. Like I mentioned, I just really need some new things. I need to refocus, um, factor in my goals for the year a little bit better um, and get some stuff done. And I'm also, it's not that I'm bored of the products I have. I've actually really been enjoying my selection of products, but some of them I have now used 10 plus times, even though I didn't meet my goal, I just, I really need a reinvigoration of this project. Does that make any sense? So I'm going to be tossing things out willy nilly. It's going to be a lot. The only goal I actually met for this update is my Pixie Glow Mist. So I have officially used this 20 times. Like I said, since I've rolled this in, this seems like something that should be easy for me to just finish a setting spray, but because it is the glow mist specifically, I don't enjoy using this in the summer. It makes me look like a greasy disaster um, because there is like literally oil in here. So this is more of a winter product for me, but I did use this 20 times since rolling it in. So that is like, I actually met my goal on that. Now I'm just going to go in the order. Like I said, we're going to be getting rid of a lot of stuff. So the product that's been in since my intro is the Over Liquid Lipstick in the shade Verona, this very deep nude. My goal is to use this 20 times. I have now used it 16 times. So I only missed out on my goal by four uses. This is a product that I would more use in the fall. So 16 uses is more than it's probably ever gotten. There are quite a few windows in here now. Um, because it is pretty dry, but it still is working. So I'm not ready to declutter it, but I am ready to kick it out of this project. This one, I was a little on the fence. So this is the Iconic London Lip Plumping Gloss in the shade Love Struck. My goal, again, was to use this 20 times. I thought that would be a good goal for this project for this year. I have now used it 16 times as well. For only four more uses, I am going to roll this out in the refresh as well. I just need some new products. I really did enjoy working on this actually. And I mean, it's a fine lip gloss. I can customize it. As it is such a light color, it goes over pretty much any lip liner. Um, I can top it on any lipstick. I liked mixing it with the dark uh, liquid lipstick, but I'm not going to keep it in for just four more uses and just roll it out next time. I feel satisfied with 16 uses for now. And I will revisit it, revisit it again soon. The Aurora Gel Effect Nail Polish in the shade 112 for Alarm Fire. My goal is to use this five times. This has been in the project for many months and I had only used it once. Last month I said I did want to kick this out in a refresh but I really wanted to use it two more times. 
I have it on my toes currently and on my fingers, so I've officially done that. I used this three out of five times, and while it is a great summery shade, I should just use it two more times. I just haven't been painting my nails very much. This is already chipped a little bit on the tips, not too bad, um, but I painted it like super late last night and then stayed up reading my book for it to dry before going to sleep. Panning nail polish doesn't really interest me, so while I have this opportunity to roll it out, I'm going to take it. <laughs> The Alomar Blush Trio, I rolled in the third shade, Scorcher. I have this on my cheeks today. It is a beautiful, glowy, vibrant peach blush. I really enjoyed using this. My goal is to use it 20 times. I have now used it 11 times and I was kind of on the fence. But I have so many blushes and I want to be using all of the blushes all of the time. And this is a very springtime palette for me. I'm going to roll this out as well. I don't know why I want to do that particularly, but I think 11 uses is still good. And I mean, I could easily use this nine more times, but I'm just kind of like excited to see what else I could get. I don't know. I'm gonna do it though. I just, I wanna refresh, like I keep mentioning. The second blush I have in here is my e.l.f. Putty Blush. This, I also have a 20 use goal on and I've used it four times. I used it two times since the last update. I am gonna keep this in because this is a very fun summertime blush. It's very vibrant. I like using this for layering and people have said they have lasting power issues with this formula and I haven't really noticed that though maybe I just haven't been wearing it long enough so I'd like to test out the longevity but I like that this you can apply it before powder or after powder. It still looks beautiful and it is a scary color, but it does sheer out on the cheeks. It's still poppy and noticeable and bright, but it's not too scary, even though I do have a light skin tone. Um, I just, I really enjoy this. So I'm going to be keeping this in. I pretty much kicked out everything else so far, haven't I? Um, next, I have the Ciate London Eye Luster Creme Shadow in the shade Cupid. My goal is to use this 10 times. I've used it six of those 10 times. The only way I enjoy using this is on my inner corner or as a glitter liner, like for those liner cut creases or things like that. And I'm, I'm going to keep this. I'm not going to declutter it. I'm going to roll it out of this project for the refresh, but... I find it very hard to pair with looks. There's a ton of windows in here now as well. Like I've used this a decent amount since I've owned it. This looks like a cool toned lavender metallic kind of shade, but on the eyes, it's more of like a yellow glitter. Is there such thing as a cool toned yellow? Like it's so strange. I feel like it doesn't really go with my warm toned looks. And then when I put it on a cool toned look, because it looks kind of purpley, then it's yellowy glitter, but it doesn't really go with those either. So the look I liked the most, I think I shared last time, and it was like I had a brown crease and a purple lid, and this is a glitter cut crease, so it kind of went with the browns and the purples together. I don't know if I'm making any sense at all. This is a very strange product. I do not like it all over the lid at all. My Milani eyeshadow primer, my goal is to finish this. I used it 10 times since the last update. Um, I did my makeup 10 times since the last update because I used this every single time I do my eyeshadow and I had COVID in between from there. So I think that's pretty good. And I forgot to mark it but I mean, it looks pretty much the same after 10 uses and I do want to finish this before the end of the year. So this is staying in. Last month, I rolled that in last month, but I also rolled in two lip liners. The first is the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade Lumiere. I do have this marked on my paper, um, so I will pop in a picture. My goal is to finish this one because it is so old in my collection. I've used it three times since the last update, 
which I, again, I think is pretty good because I don't usually reach for lip liners. It's like a purpley neutral and I'm going to keep this in as well and I hope to finish it. And the second lip liner I also used three times, which was surprising. This is the Jante Blue Brown Sugar Lip Liner and my goal is to use this 20 times. However, I used it three of those times and I'm going to roll it out. I did kind of hint at that when I first rolled it in. I was like, mm, not really a lip liner kind of girl. And I'm happy I got three uses out of this because it's more than it would have gotten. But it's also, again, more of a fall color. It's a very deep um, brown. And I did enjoy pairing it with this gloss I had in. But even still, it was a bit too deep for what I'm wanting to reach for. And I can't successfully divide my time between two of these lip liners and be able to finish the ColourPop one. So again, I'm going to roll this out. So that leaves three products in this project. I have, I don't think I've ever gone this crazy during the refresh, even though this is my fourth year doing this project. I always do roll things out but I just really want a clean slate. When I was preparing for my Shop My Stash, which was the last video you guys saw on this channel, I believe, I just wanted to use all of the things and I've been feeling kind of stagnant in my project pans. Not for any reason other than, <laughs> I feel like I'm having commitment issues where I just want to like use this a couple of times, then use this a couple of times, but then I was also revisiting my makeup panning goals for 2022 and we're halfway through the year now and I realized I'm not really that close to a lot of my goals and it's also time for a mid-year update for my makeup inventory and I'm realizing like oh I haven't made a lot of progress there so this is a little strange I've never done this before but we're putting all those products away they're still in my spreadsheet so I mean technically I could roll them in again um, I'm going to give myself a couple more strict finish pan type goals, but then I'm also going to drop down the usage goals to 5 and 10 instead of 20 for a lot of things, just so we can keep things moving, touch more things before the end of the year. Are you following my train of thought? Because I just had a giant cup of coffee and I'm feeling all over the place. <laughs> all right, you guys, I have my pretty random app. I have in the numbers 2 to 684. I need to roll in seven items, right? And only two per category. And I'm not rolling in a lip liner because I know, well, well, <laughs> let's see what we get. Um, I think I might roll 10 numbers in case we have duplicates. Um, of like product category so I don't have to keep popping back on camera because it's going to take me a little bit to comb through my spreadsheet and figure out what everything is. 145.45 That took me quite a while. There was a lot of products here. I did need to use one of the re-rolls because number 40 was a mascara. I'm not going to put a mascara in here, but oh, I haven't really thought about what my goals should be for everything. What did I say I wanted to do? Five or 10 uses or more challenging goals. I'm looking at what I have here and I'm a little nervous. Okay, number one, 145 was this Finding Ferdinand lipstick in the shade Knob Hill Red. Starting to smell a little old. <laughs> um, as this is a red, I should wipe off that lip liner. It is like a pinky red. I am going to put five uses on this guy. I think that is plenty for a red lipstick. Then number 45 was my Hourglass Arch Brow Micro Sculpting Pencil. I am going to try and finish this. I'm not working on any other brow pencils. 
Oh my god, that's all that's left in here? This will be super easy. I didn't even realize there was so little in here. I thought that there was like half the pencil left, so now I feel silly that I haven't finished this already, but this should be gone for next update. Oops. 544 is a ColourPop Super Shock, one I have never used before. This is in the shade Fru Fru. It is an ultra glitter and it is a blue purple duochrome glitter. Ooh, this is more like a topper shade. It is very beautiful, but I would like to do five uses again um, for eyeshadows just because I'm panning eyeshadow in other projects and I think five uses will be just fun for this shade. I don't want to pressure myself to hit pan on it in this project. Next I rolled in my first Aid Beauty Pores Be Gone Matte Primer. While this is pretty full, it's about here. I will actually mark it properly once it has time to settle. It was laying on its side in my drawer. This is about two years old in my collection now, and while there are primers, I would prefer to finish over this one. I think keeping this in a project for the rest of the year would be a good idea, even if ultimately I don't actually finish it. So I'm gonna say my goal is to finish that primer and just see how much we can, how much progress we can make on that. Then I have my Rare Beauty Liquid Highlighter in the shade Mesmerize. This is pretty full. I've only used this a handful of times. It is 2.5 milliliters. I think I'm going to put a 10 use goal on this because I don't foresee myself finishing this and it's pretty new in my collection. And I think using it in the summertime is perfect as it is a bit darker. Two more products left. I rolled in a very bampy lippy. This is the Ofra Liquid Lipstick in the shade Havana Nights. This was in collaboration with Kathleen Lights. Still smells good. Ooh, but it feels super dry and cakey. Even just swatching it on my hand. Okay, I'm going to put a five use goal on this because it is super vampy and determine if this needs to be decluttered. I When I'm swirling it, it's not really like pulling away from the sides, but when I pull it out, it's pretty caked on there and doesn't feel very liquidy at all anymore. Um, it is quite old, so my heart isn't going to be broken if I do need to declutter it, and it's not a shade I wear very often, but I do want to actually, you know, use it in this project and figure that out. So five uses. And lastly, a Tarte blush. This is in the shade Feisty. I can't open it. There we go. Ooh, this has some hard pan I will have to scrape off. I've tried hitting pan in the shade Party, that's also a mini. This is the 1.5 grams and was unsuccessful because these are so tightly pressed. So I'm going to put 10 uses on this. I feel bad for dropping down the usage goal. And while we're here, I'm going to drop um, this down to 10 uses as well. I just have so many blushes and I want to get use out of so many others. And I think 10 uses is more realistic than hitting pan. Ooh, I don't know. I really do need to scrape off that hard pan because it's not really wanting to pick up very well. It's very pretty. Okay, so I'm very excited to have a ton of new products. But I did end up with more small usage goals than I thought I would when I kicked out a ton of products. We are going to be finishing the brow pencil, the lip pencil, the eyeshadow primer, what else? Oh, and the face primer. And I have smaller usage goals on the other six items. 
but I'm hoping that with the smaller usage goals that I will be able to randomly generate something else that I could finish when I'm replacing it, if that makes sense. Might be flawed logic, but that's where I'm at, especially with the like very um, bold lip colors I have randomly generated, which I like a fun lip. I'm wearing a pretty bright pink. I mean, it's worn off by the looks of things now, but I do like bold lip colors, just not every single day. And the other things were just unrealistic. With the Super Shock Shadow, I can hit pan in these in under 20 uses, so I think five uses is kind of a cop-out, but I really didn't want to be panning eyeshadow in this project, just using it a couple of times, so it is what it is. But that is my update and refresh for my whole collection of project pan. Goals for next time. If I have dropped down my e.l.f. Putty Blush goal to 10 and I've already used it 4, I could use this 6 more times if I really focus on it and this, like the month of July, is the perfect fun time to get use out of this blush. So that is what I plan on doing. I might even be able to, if I really paid attention and focused, get my 5 uses on the Finding Ferdinand lipstick in the month of July as well and roll that out. And if I don't have this brow pencil finish, there is some serious, there is something seriously wrong with me. There is not very much left in here. So this will be gone as well. So I really hope to have things rolling along at a faster pace now after this refresh and we'll hope for three rollouts next month. If you did enjoy today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, comment down below, your thoughts. Are you doing this project? This project, is, this project is kind of crazy. Do you agree with everything I kicked out or not? Sorry for looking so crazy in this video. I'll see you in my next one. Bye!